first of all, you head over to commandostoolbox.com. I'll of course be linking that in the description. You go up to guides and you head into Billionaires Boulevard, since this is what I've decided to call um, this route that uh, you're gonna be following. In here you will see like the, the list we just went over, you will see what you need to do, plan types, I'll come back to those. But down here you will see the list itself. There's a number of systems and you just basically click the copy and it will copy the system name into your clip holder. Then make a note of the planet body that you're going to be heading to, that could be a moon or a, or, or a planet itself. Head into the game and let's head over to the system. Open up the system map once you arrive. If you do not have this specific body in the system. That means you need to get into your FSS scanner and scan the system first. But since we are running around the bubble and a lot of these systems are gonna be populated, you should have access to these system maps already in the majority of these systems. So head over to this body and you're gonna go and do the um, do the detailed surface scanning of the planet and map the planet. If you are in doubt, by the way, how you do the surface scanners, I recommend you head again back to Commander's Toolbox and check out the exploration guide here, where I both explain how the FSS scanner work, and I will also go into detail later on, as you can see here, with how the um, uh, how the details surface scanner works, how you use that. It's all described over here, and there are even some stuff about neutron highways that you're not going to need for this guide. But in general, if you need anything, you want those video guides, it's all listed over here on um, on Commander's Toolbox. Once you've mapped the planet, you can swap between the filters up here and you're gonna be looking for an area where all the different plant types that we're looking for is gonna be, um, be present. The colors doesn't really matter much here. You're just gonna be looking for an area that has shade of blue and where all the different types overlap. Now the filters only show you the first name in the plant name. So for instance, if we jump back on Commander's Toolbox, if you're looking for this Clupius type plant, then the filter will just say Clupius, and that's the area you're going to be looking for. Once you're planted side, it's time to begin looking for the plants. And again here, depending on what area you're in, you're either going to use the ship or you're going to be using uh, the SRV. If you're flying over a mountainous, rugged area, I recommend you keep your landing gear down to slow your ship down a bit. Keep the speed like low 50, um, 50 meters per second, and then just fly low over the... Um, over the surface and just look for the plants. If you're not sure what the plants looks like, that's when you're once again, you're gonna jump back to Commander's Toolbox where you will see I have a section about plant types. So for instance, if I'm looking for this, let's go with that Clupos again. I'm gonna find it here in the list. There it is. I can click that picture and here's a picture showing what that plant looks like so you know what you're gonna be looking for, making it easier for you to identify from a ship or from with it's inside an SRV. If you're over more flat areas, I recommend you go out in the SRV since that is quicker to get in and out of it quickly and just park it rather than having to find a place to land and get out of the ship and back in and up. And, and, and often in these flat areas, there are shorter distances between them. Once you find one of the plants you need to scan, you just get out your, uh, uh, your, your kinetic sampler, it's on the key 5, and then you just go up to the plant, press and hold your left mouse button until the scan is complete. You need to complete the scan three times per plant, and you can't have multiple types of plants scanned at the same time. That means if you're starting on a specific type, you need to scan that three times before it's done, and you need to get some distance between, um, between the plants to get genetic diversity or whatever. So basically, once you've done a scan of one of the plant, then get into your SRV or into your ship, move some distance, and then find another one, scan it again, repeat until you've done it three times. Once you've done it three times, the scan is complete, you have that data, you will see that it's done by him taking out the little canister and pressing the button and stuff like that. Um, and then you can move on to the next plant, and then you can scan that again once, again, one, two, three times. And this is where, as you can see over here in Commander's Toolbox, I've set little check marks here, so you can go and just help you figure out exactly like, oh, what, which one have I scanned, which one haven't I scanned on this on, on each planet. So it just makes it easier for you to remember like which one you've scanned and which one you haven't. Whilst you're moving around on the planet, you will see that sometimes some plants are really easy to find. They're basically everywhere. You're stumbling across them everywhere you go where other types of plants are extremely difficult to find. Now, what I recommend you do is if you've been scanning all the plants and you have not found a single version of one of them, which often you will find that one of the plants can be quite rare, one or two of the types maybe, can be quite rare on that planet, then just skip it. 
and ignore it and move on to the next planet. You're much better off just moving on to a planet where you can find the, the plants you're looking for easily and fast than spending 20 minutes, half an hour looking for one plant when you could have been scanning five plants for the same value in another system uh, in the same time frame. Often it takes me anywhere, depending on how many plants I need to find, it takes me anywhere from like 20 minutes to half an hour to complete a planet. That with this many planets in it, there are many, many hours in uh, in this for you to go and uh, and explore. I think this entire list, I can't remember what it's, it's at right now, but I think this entire list should yield you anywhere between two and a half and three billion credits if you complete the entire list. Each planet here I think is between 30 to 50 million um, in value if you complete all the scans. And armed with this knowledge, you're now ready to go out and become an exobiology expert and make a bunch of credit in the process. Please go down and check and ensure that you're subscribed to the channel. If you're not, I would really appreciate if you would consider doing so, as I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers and I'm getting really close and I would love if you would help me get there. Thanks a lot for watching and until next time, I will see you guys in space.